using it for feedback to the teachers to help them in advance their own teaching practice. I think using this, the teachers can actually record their lessons. They can look at the feedback at a time that's uh, particularly going to be particularly important to them. I can just have them watch the video and then they can just go ahead and do what I want them to do. My teachers would use this uh, to be able to uh, perhaps do some pre-videos before students come to class. And I would like to use the swivel in my classroom also to show kids things on the iPad. Um, and to help with filming things for my PDP, my professional development portfolio. Cool, works really well. Yeah. Very, very interesting device. Allowing students to walk around the class and demonstrate their uh, their presentations without being locked to a single point in the classroom. Yeah. So uh, this would be great so students can recap what's happening in the lesson. Um, so it's just something that uh, the students and staff will benefit from. Uh, assessment, feedback for uh, teachers uh, and also for looking at uh, flipped classrooms. Very, very interesting. Seat being a student tool as well. Um, I think it's an amazing tool because it's easy to use. Um, really, you don't need a lot of professional development in, in learning how to use it. It tracks you around the classroom, so it's 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 a really good, easy tool that will actually allow uh, staff to record their lessons and then go back and evaluate it, and then to also use it in classroom as well to look at the collaboration that's happening in the classroom too. And then as the teacher's teaching, the swivel can follow the teacher and then putting it up on, say, our Google site, the kids can go back and have a look at the lesson. Oh, I'd love to have a swivel. Yeah? Well, they would look great. I would love to use them for podcasting in the classroom.